Hello, hello. Virgo, Virgo. I'm doing a surprise today. I'm doing a love reading. I don't usually do love readings, as you know, if you watch my channel. But I thought I'd just, I just felt like it. I thought, you know what, why not? Everybody needs a little bit of love. So, I'm not going to say that I'll do it every month, because I don't know that I will. But I am going to, today, give you a general love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, anywhere in your chart that you have Virgo and might be interested in, or you might be a crosswalker and be interested in some Virgo in your life. I'm not going to shuffle these cards anymore because, well, they're challenging. So let's just break and see what's going on for Virgo. Oh, Lord. Secret admirer at the bottom of the deck. Now, that was at the bottom of the deck for Taurus. So you too might be secret admirers of each other. Or your feelings too might be hidden. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. That could be you as well. Um, if you're interested, go back and watch the... Uh, chorus reading and it might make sense for you too, it might resonate. Okay, then we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Imagine that. So rather than thinking, oh that could never happen for me, Think of all the ways that it could. And what else? Reflection. Mm. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. That goes along with releasing thoughts that aren't working. Um, taking some time out to see how your thoughts um, are creating an energy inside you just when you're thinking something it's always good to stop and and think how am I like how am I physically feeling um am I worried and when you're worrying about something stop and think about your body you'll notice that your shoulders are tensed your stomach's all tight you you kind of closed off if you're um, thinking of loving feelings towards someone and how special they are and how what a difference they make in your life, you'll have a much more relaxed, open, your, your chest area will be open um, when you're thinking things like that. If you're thinking how funny someone is, you know, you, you'll just be smiling. You won't be able to help yourself. You'll be smiling and your energy will feel buoyant. So there's some clues on how to spend some time with yourself and work out what's going on for you. Because if it's fear-based and, and like a stranglehold, that is going to work against everything you want. Trust me. You know, because I've had experience. Here you go. Five of Swords. And that is winning at all costs. This love is not about winning. It's not about winning or losing. It's about sharing and giving and receiving. Big difference. All right, so let's see what's going on. Sorry. 
you've by looking at different ways you've already grown and understood more than you thought you had but you still haven't worked out your own worth you still feel like you have to be this guarded strong um, person because even though you understand um, you you've looked at things from from different perspectives as far as other people go you haven't really yet looked at your own worth and so you understand why other people do what they do but you still don't feel worthy yourself of healthy love and that's why you're still needing to control um, and and have like over the top boundaries um, and then something has very lately come in and just said stop pause take a breath this, this is not working this is not working um, yeah yep 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 Okay, yeah, you, you're getting it, you're getting it. It's, it's a slow process, but you, you're getting it. You're realising that it has something to do with your heart, not the hearts of other people. Um, attracting the love you want is not about, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive. It's not about um, you know just saying this is what I want, so bring it in. It's it's a matter of living from that space. So giving what you want. If you want this kind of love, be that person who gives that kind of love to somebody else. But make sure they they return it as well. It's not just a one-way street. And when you're giving love, do it from a place of unconditional, uh, with no expectations of return. It's not, I know those two things sound like it's a contradiction. It's not. When you give love, you give it freely to whoever is around you because that's coming from inside out. People you accept into your close circle, that's when you um, allow people of the same vibration. So if you've got people in your close circle who are not of high vibration, you need to look at your own. You really need to look at your own vibration and determine what it is um, about that behaviour that you are accepting, that you are up with that you are allowing and then look at why why would you allow that kind of behavior um, if if you were as valuable and worthy as everybody else get to that a bit later but with this pause moment you've worked out that it's something to do with your heart and that you are not getting the giving and receiving equally. It's just not happening yet, but that's what you want. So you're focusing now on not what you're frightened of losing, but what you actually want in your life. And that's a matter of growth. It's, it's not, like I said, it's not saying, well, I've decided now, so walk through the door like in friends um, it's a matter of really detaching from previous um, held see how she's releasing the dove it's not held under her cape it's not um, 
it's not constricted and she's come in from out of the cold. So she's had this awakening of this needs to be free. I don't need to hang on to this um, desire and hope and wish. I need to actually let it out, like let it out. And that is going to, when you do let it out, you've got the crown chakra here. That's what's going to be sent up. That's what's going to, that's the communication line from then on. They will know that you are serious. Things are going to balance out if you, yeah, see, if you stay open to possibilities, if you um, embrace the unknown, if you stay balanced yourself in your own energies. So you don't expect um, the masculine to balance the feminine in a physical body. You are, sorry, I'm trying to stop the reflection. You are the masculine and feminine balanced in your body and then you will attract the same in another person. Um, it's all on its way. It's all coming on its way. And all you have to do, my loves, is embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace that you're worth it. Don't, don't turn your back on it anymore. Bring it in. Let it in. And know that you're worth it. So, yeah, that's it. Just change your focus. Change your focus from closed to open. I love you lots. I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed the surprise. Much love. Bye.